When you have to complete the square for quadratics where the number in front of the x squared isn't 1, this is a bit more challenging. Okay, But I'm going to show you a method that will enable you to do it. I'm going to work through these three examples. So for this first one, 3x squared minus 9x minus 2. What I'm going to do first is factor the 3, the number in front of the x squared, out of the first two terms. So the 3 goes outside of the bracket, and I have x squared, and then take away 3x, take away 2. Because 3 lots of x squared makes 3x squared, 3 lots of minus 3x makes the minus 9x. I then complete the square of what is inside that bracket. So I'm going to have x take away half the 3, so minus 3 halves, take away the square of that number, which is minus 9 quarters. Okay, oh, that should have a squared on it. And then I've got that minus 2 on the outside. I then multiply the 3 by this bracket, so 3 lots of x minus 3 halves squared. I multiply the 3 by the minus 9 quarters, so that's minus 27 quarters. And then I've got the minus 2 on the outside, which in order to um, add it to this fraction, I'm going to write that as minus 8 over 4. So I get 3 lots of x minus 3 halves squared take away 35 over 4. And that is now in complete square form. Okay? This is really the step that is the most challenging. Okay? So let's see it in the next example. Okay, so 2x squared plus 8x minus 3. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to this time take 2 outside of the first two terms. I'm going to have x squared plus 4x inside and that minus 3 on the outside. So make sure that you've done this correctly. 2 lots of x squared makes the 2x squared. 2 lots of 4x makes the 8x. You then want to complete the square on what's inside that bracket. So I'm going to have x plus half the 4 squared, take away the square of that number, and then I'm going to have that minus 3 on the outside. Then multiply through. So that's two lots of the bracket, so two lots of x plus two squared. Two lots of the minus four is minus eight, and I've got the minus three on the outside. So finishing up, two lots of x plus two all squared, take away 11. Okay, and that is now in completed square form. Let's just do the last one. So we have 10x squared plus 30x plus nine. So I'm going to do the same first step, take 10 out of the first two terms. So I'm going to write this as 10 lots of x squared plus 3x. And I've got that plus 9 on the outside. I then want to complete the square what is inside the bracket. So I'm going to have x plus half the 3, so 3 halves, squared. Take away the square of that, that's 9 quarters. And I've got that plus 9 on the outside. I then want to multiply through by the 10, so 10 lots of x plus 3 halves squared. Take away 10 lots of 9 quarters, so that's minus 90 over 4, which is minus 45 over 2. Simplifying. I'm going to write the 9 as 18 over 2, so I can combine those two fractions. So that's 10 lots of x plus 3 halves squared, um, and then I've got minus 45 halves plus 18 halves. Um, so if I add 10 halves, that gets me to minus 35 halves, so I get minus 27 halves. Okay, and that is the last one. Uh, now in completed square format.